Here's a close up. Okay, thank you. Did she block the public access? Has she got us boxed in here? She does. Yeah. She has us detained, held I against our will. I don't so what? It, it sucks if we're wrong, and you guys were, were correct, and we're telling you you can't be here, and you could have been your last day. I, I feel bad about that. But, but then, but then, where does it go from there, right? So if, if under if under the threat of arrest, I'm no longer here. And then we find out that I was right. Yeah. Then I was trespassed or given an, a, a, a potential warning of trespass with the threat of arrest when I committed no crime entering a public place. Yeah. So then what? What is the recourse I sue the PD? I guess we, we call and tell you you can come use but it, it then. But at that point, when I find out I'm right, then someone's got to pay. Like, I have to be made whole at that point, right? So then what do we do? We cost the taxpayers a lot of money because we were right? You wouldn't happen to be the same lieutenant that had a drunk driving thing, were you? Yeah, good night, sir. Good night. So... Do you not remember because you were drunk or what? What's going on everybody and yet another crazy story. So here we have one of Schott's boats. And here is a GIS survey showing the difference between private and public property. There's a lake here called St. Mary's Lake. And the rich people like to tell folks that it's a private lake. It's not. And as you can see here, there's red lines going around the lake. That's all public access and public property, showing that it is in fact a public lake. Now the white roads, those are all public roads. Now the property owners there will lie and tell people that it's a private lake. Even the real estate agents sell it as a private lake. It's not. What these real estate agents say is you see all these houses, private property, and you see everything going down up to the water, private property. It's not. It's actually public property. And even the prosecutor of this county, one of the guys that's been really going after shots, he lives there. Uh, and how much would the property value go down if that went from a private beach to a public beach? Well, that's exactly what it is. And that's one of the things that Justin's been talking about, which is one of the things that have made people go so crazy over him. So we're gonna go down to this public lake through these public roads. It's important to note, before we could even get out and gear up and do any filming, the moment we got to the bottom of this road, homeowners were already up in arms. Freeman went live, and I barely had enough time to grab my phone before the very first Karen was in my face. Hey guys, so we're here at the boat launch, completely public. Um, this is where we are. Right here, this line that goes down, public access. Um, and now I guess they, they call the cops. And there's a, a an insane looking Karen on her way, I think, to yell at James Freeman. What's she say? Okay, thank you. Oh man. She's crazy. That doesn't work. I just disproved that whole thing. Oh, is he trying to copyright? Yeah. Oh, okay, so now he's playing his music. I didn't realize that's what he was doing. Yeah. Yeah, no, that doesn't actually work. No, I just posted a video with it. Someone tried to do it. There's still, oh yeah, yeah, the copyright thing with uh, background music, YouTube yeah. doesn't do that anymore. If it's not actually, a, if you're not just playing music for the, for the like, sake of playing music. Um, what's that? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry, I'm retarded. So we're coming back out to the main road. Oh shoot, somebody's blocked the access. Oh, this is the crazy lady, I think. Did she block the public access? Has she got us boxed in here? She does, yeah. She has us detained? Held against our will? I don't want to be here. What? <laughs> what is this? She's got us held against our will. Well, what do we do about that? I don't, I don't know. What do we do about that? I don't know. She's got us held against our will here now. 
So now do we back up? We've all got a the meeting that we're supposed to be at at seven o'clock. Yeah, I, I I need to go. Is she trying to keep us from the public meeting too? Is this all part of a? Am I detained? It looks like you're de you're you're held by force. Well, if I'm not free to go, I must be detained. You're being. I'm definitely being held by force. It's wait. Are they saying it's private property, even though it's not private property? And she wants us to leave, but we can't go. Yeah, you want to go ask them? We can. We can go right back down if you want. You want to walk down there or drive? I'll. I'll just back up down this. Sure. I think it's the lady in the blue shirt. James Freeman, Josh Abrams. Hey, we were uh, trying to pull out to the road there. Somebody's like access blocked. Oh, are we? Are we kidnapped? Are you holding us hostage here, ma'am? Oh, are we allowed to leave now? Let me get, do you have the survey? Please sit here now. Huh? Let's pull the truck out. Both of them or? Uh, I've got documentation to show you it's not. Also, it's on the county website. Right here, sir. I understand. Anybody can tell anybody. I can just share yeah, there. That's, so that's this is where we're at right here. Mm -hmm. yep. The public access road. Mm -hmm. Everything in red is public. I understand. What this you're is saying. from the county. Violation of Michigan MCL. Instructor access to a public okay. through a public And we, not, we checked with the county too. So you see, the, this, you see it now. This is not going to be settled today. So I would ask that you wait for another day so that we can make sure that we're properly informed. Is it under threat of arrest? That's as, all I'm asking. If you threaten to arrest us if we put the boat in the water, we absolutely will not. Okay. Well, you could be arrested for trespass. Yeah. How is okay. that? This is public property. No, I don't know I can that. take you and show you the public utilities. I have it right you, here. I understand the GIS map. That's I can take you is, and show you the public utilities down here. Sir. And there's a relay at the bottom. We'll let you know, okay? <laughs> we're going to look further into it. So no, rich, you know. rich people can kick you off public property. That's how it is in Calhoun County. See here? This is the, the road that we're on. And everything in white is public. All those black lines is private property. We got this from the county. So right here is where we're at right now. And then we get to the bottom here where it's all red. The entire red, red is, is public. So and we, we got this from the county. Where are you getting okay. this further information? So I don't understand what the argument is that it's yeah. private property. Martin, because with the president of the association chain, it's private drive. property and it's signed as such, saying that it's private property. So the president of the association no, can just say that's private that's property? That's what we would have to do. This is private property. We would have to do more investigation, more digging in it. Okay, so where do we, where do we go to? Like, where do we go to? Because the county says it's public. So the, I, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying the county says it's public. They give us this and make sure that we're in the right place. Now, you're telling us that the county association person said that it's private. So when did they change it from, like, private to public? Because this was printed today. Okay. Rich people win. Lieutenant, when, is, when was this change from private to public? Because as far as today is concerned, the county tells us this is public. Sure. We'll have this hashed out. It's not going to happen today. Okay, but if this is public property, hashing it out doesn't work. Sir, sir, I have one more question. Right. Okay. It's something that was, that was just printed. Yeah, out, but it is right? the official GIS. You can Correct. see it. It's Correct. It's from today. The GIS is this real quick. It's from the county. Correct. Yeah, no, like we didn't just like go willy nilly print it up. We went and got no. that from the government. I, I understand government what you're saying. And like and the, the sign also us. says, though, private. We're, we're, not, we're not saying you're incorrect. We're saying we don't know. Right, and, so, and so I understand we would that. Like so if you're saying. We're going to put in a little extra work into finding out to make certain that the information we put forth is correct. So if you're saying that we're not in. Yeah, that flies back. Yeah. If, if you're saying that we're not incorrect, and that doesn't mean necessarily that they're correct, right? We I'm, don't know at this I'm point. Saying, I don't know. Then why we're do I gonna, have to leave and give up my rights? We're just going to the side of the people who have the most money. 
I think we, we err on the side of the way it has been until we know we are correct to change it. Okay. So I, I, I hear what you're saying, and it, and it sounds like we're saying we're siding with them. All we're saying is we're going to side with the way things have been until I know for certain I can tell them you are wrong. And we seem to be the same one. This lady, this la this Karen right here is batshit crazy. Well, she came I, right up in my face, spit all over my face. You are very comfortable being on camera. I am very comfortable okay, being, so being, let, 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 being wrong. So it, what? It sucks if we're wrong and you guys were, were correct and we're telling you you can't be here and you could have been your last day. I, I feel bad about that. But, but then but then where does it go from there, right? So if, if, under, if under the threat of arrest, I'm no longer here. And then we find out that I was right. Yeah. Then I was trespassed or given an, a, a, a potential warning of trespass with the threat of arrest when I committed no crime entering a public place. Yeah. So then what? What is the recourse I sue the PD? I guess we, we call and tell you you can come use but it, it then. But at that point, when I find out I'm right, then someone's got to pay. Like, I have to be made whole at that point, right? So then what do we do? We cost the taxpayers a lot of money because we were right? Like, I, guess, I guess at that point, if, if you feel to be made whole, do you, you need to sue, then I, I would advise you to sue. You know, I, I guess I don't. I don't know what you want me to say. Oh, no, I'm just. I'm just going you, over the situation because to me it like doesn't make a ton of sense. And we wanted to go through all of our due diligence to make sure that we had the right information. I, wanna, I don't know. You might need to move the truck. Oh, so Justin can get out. Is it your truck? Yeah. You might need to move it. I don't know if we need to Oh, he's got that. So I was just speaking to Officer Wolf. If it turns out that we were accurate, Lieutenant Martins, then we're, we're good to go. But then what about how we made whole? We're threatened with the penalties of arrest to leave a place that we were never we never had to leave. Okay. Does that sound fair or righteous? We'll figure it out. That's not how justice works, though, right? That's what you... I don't know, bud. I mean, but, but you should. I don't know, bud. You should. You have a good day. Is this still private property? No, this isn't private property to begin with. This certainly isn't. Just kidding. Do you officers see an MCL on this sign? Any one of you can read? You see an MCL on that sign anywhere? Cadet, do you care to know what the law is? Because that sign means nothing without an MCL. You see one? Look at. I guarantee you. Do they pay taxes on this property? I don't know, Justin. Oh, okay. They don't know much, Justin. I mean, at least the lieutenant. I haven't really spoke to many of the other ones. Oh no, the poor people are here. What is it next? The black people are coming? Uh, yeah. Hey, we're coming back with black people. <laughs> now they're. You get all their computer screens. Yeah. Hey. Do you want to hear the narrative? Hey, that's interesting. They have the association bylaws on the screen. Not a one of them says that it's not publicly accessible. What's that? This cop car has the association bylaws on the screen and not one of them says anything that this is that lake access or any of that so access they, is private. So it even tells them on their computer that's that it's it. not private. Look at He's it. He's got it up. He pulled up the bylaws. He checked. Lake Association bylaw enforcers? Yeah, but besides look, that, even read, their bylaws say Look, you can, read, right. you can read through this. So they're here to... So they know. Lake Association... James, look. Law over public property. So they know. He even pulled it up and read it. And he was shown the GIS Action. survey. Not that the association bylaws have any control over, over public access, but evidence that the pig lied. Imagine that. This is Battle Creek Police Department. If you guys want to start giving them, uh, letting them know what you think about kicking the pores out of the... Uh, that the that, the that Lieutenant Martin, who was leading kicking the pores there, that's just hard. He was 
Look him up. Battle Creek Police, Lieutenant Martin's drunk driving crash. The other officers picked him up and took him somewhere privately to sober up for hours before he ever got tested or anything. Big cover up. Now, always continue working at the time. Rules for thee, but not for me. He was on his way back to the hall of the Hey Justin, they have all sorts of notes about you in this one. Oh, they love me? It says, oh, they love notes? Justin Shots Driving Slowly by John Jones. That's oh, one. Oh, Justin Shots you Driving have, Slowly by Joni Jones. You have 24 linked events just from the past week. Wow. So they're just saying where you are, so when they, you're driving. So they 24-7? That, read the screen yourself. Wow. Look at it. You can read it without having to zoom in. Justin spirit. Shots Driving Slowly by Joni Jones. So anyone in the community can see Justin. They can say, Justin Schatz needs to let out the seam of his pants because he's swinging big so by, they, by, by James Freeman. So this police department is literally stalking your every move and putting notes in their system about yeah. where you are and where you're going at all times, how fast or slow you're going Well, that's, I think that's from a citizen because there's no officer with that name on the... That's from Joni Jones, the township supervisor. Okay, that so that's from a... Oh, it's the township to, supervisor. Well, that's she was right. disgraced and forced to resign. So that's a citizen. Your silent oh, observer. still coming after you. Now yeah. we know what well, the silent is, observer line most is. Most of these, all this retaliatory prosecution started when I brought this up about them stealing the public lake. She, it's not just uh, disgraced supervisor Joni Jones doing this. She not only steals the public beachfront, she actually steals one of these lanes, one of these public lanes that goes down to the lake. She actually steals that as part of her her own private property. She's not the only one that does, does that. So does head Calhoun County prosecutor. If you're wondering why that cor Corporal Wolf was so bitter, he's nearly cried on video several times, and he failed at falsely getting my Thanks for at least having a civil conversation. Do my best. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Nice Thanks, man. You. That's not my last name. You wouldn't happen to be the same lieutenant that had a drunk driving thing, were you? Yeah, have a good night, sir. So, would you not remember because you were drunk or what? This one was an attack of the Karens, and interesting in a lot of ways. You guys know I never take the trespass, and in fact, I always take the ride. On top of that, this kind of arrest is super cheap to fight in court. But Freeman has an interesting perspective on this and a game plan going into it. Dealing with the government is a pissing contest, and whoever has the biggest wins. And the government certainly has the biggest Well, that's until you put Freeman and I together. These Battle Creek cops would want to use violence. And if we know anything from Schatz's videos, they get violent real quick and generally for no reason. So let's just take the violence and the unlawful arrest right out of the equation and take them right to court. Now we've been trespassed from a public property that they insisted was private and they said they'd get back to us. Well, they did get back to us and it turns out we were right. It was public all along. So they abused their authority under the color of law. And now we have an intent letter sent to Battle Creek and that homeowners association on the lake. But this court case won't just be interesting because we're going to take a ton of money from Battle Creek. It's going to be interesting because a federal judge is going to look at the case. And the very first step they're going to take is making sure the lake is actually public and the roads accessible to the lake are public before they can do anything else. And that federal judge is very quickly going to affirm what Battle Creek just recently has. And then there's no way Battle Creek can sweep this under the rug like everybody else. 
And at that point, we're going to do a public meet and greet and invite everyone to come down to this once private but not private public place so we can all camp and go boating together, much to these rich people's chagrin. Those homeowners that were trying to steal a public lake and make it private to increase their home values are going to be real upset. And the city won't just be able to go back to saying that it's private property. Not with us and the federal government inserted firmly up in their ass. Joshua Abrams versus the state of Michigan. I like that. Stay tuned. In two weeks, we're going to go over the intent letter and the lawsuit. Until then, subscribe to James Freeman 68 Shots, and we'll catch you on the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today.